All right, hey, it's Tim Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, doing a quick little video here, but there's a thing about online about, is trucks getting too big? It's like these massive trucks are, are meant to be uh, pulverizing and they're meant to demolish you and all the scary news about it. But let's check this out. So 62 Chevy C10, full size 62, regular cab, six foot box, 2021 F-150 crew cab, five hip foot box. That's the full size half ton. This is three quarter ton. This is a six, six and a half foot box crew cab. And you can see the differences in height. I mean, not that much. This is an off-road package and it's a little bigger tires, but really the cab isn't that much different as you go along. It's really the front end, the styling of the front end that's a little bit, makes it look bigger and it's these bigger tires. As we come around the side, you can see, I mean, it just sits up taller. It's just the way that truck is, is built with three quarter tons. Three quarter tons are taller. It used to be four wheel drive, you get a little bit shorter, or two wheel drive a little shorter. Now four wheel drive is pretty tall. That's why you have this nice step here to get in, right? So come around the back. Sorry, impromptu video. I'm doing the best I can. It's freezing out here. Uh, three quarter ton, half ton, and half ton. Okay, uh, ignore my Christmas stuff. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but that, that there's your difference in the back. And this is the real complaint I've had with trucks lately is accessing the bed so as you can see see the bed heights even though that one's parked a little bit on the crown of the, the street here you can see the difference in the bed heights so even with the half ton let me come around here even with the half ton if i can do this we'll do it one-handed so half ton um my shoulder is above it's, it's at my toolbox right three quarter ton my shoulder is even with the box and then when you go over here to Swede, my old 62, when you come over here, I mean, so like I said, shoulder above, so I put my arm out, I have it about here. On Swede, you can see, change my hands, and I can really access the bed a lot easier. So that's my complaint, is not that the front end is scary, that kind of stuff. It's that we've got more headroom in these trucks. There's much more headroom in this truck than my 62. As we've done that, the engine designers have raised these beds up to match that look. And so you're gonna have that look is gonna be matched when you do that. So let me flip this around. So there you go. That is the difference then in these trucks. And then, yeah, without, I mean, without this step, I can't even get my hand in this. Uh, this one I'm about hand, I'm, I'm five foot seven. Hand is about, not to the bottom. Here's my tools I'm working out here today. And then, and over here, I can touch the bottom of the bed. So there you go. Just a, I'll throw in a video because I've seen a bunch of stuff online and things like that. And yeah, it's kind of interesting how that you can actually visually see the differences now. And that's the complaint. To me, the bed height is the complaint, not the height of the truck. The truck height I like. I can see better over top of it. I can drive better. I feel like I'm safer driving that one than this one because I'll say technology having this one for you know passengers and, and people, pedestrians. And this guy, even though he's taller, I can still see outside the cabin just fine because the way you sit and with all the safety aids, boom, 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 safety aids, right? I still feel like I can see pretty well, but it is that bed height is my big complaint. So, all right, there you go. Impromptu video. Big up to our plus SUV talk. Check out the videos over here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.